What's up guys, my name's Lee Yunan and this is the first episode on the Pressure Edge. So this episode's about a trip that myself and Jackson Atkins just did to Costa Rica. It was absolutely epic. Uh, Cubera Snapper is something that's pretty high on the list for most Aussie anglers and yeah, we had an epic trip. Just watch the footage and I'll explain a few things throughout and then at the end I'll take you through the gear we used. Enjoy. Too, did you see it? I missed it. I was fucking around with it. There's like 10 kilos here. I brought this fish on it. You better. So this fish I've hooked here was the first time we managed to get to the boat. As you can see in that previous clip, that was the first fish I hooked. Uh, fought it for yeah five ten seconds or whatever and pulled hooks unfortunately we were pretty upset but you can see when this fish hits the deck how pumped we were you can see there just how how hard they pull you fishing in 10 to 15 meters of water with stick baits yeah, so you gotta right. gotta go pretty hard on them and try and keep them up off the bottom <laughs> Crack it too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at that thing! Look at it! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> How's that take? My god, that was so sick. Full of the clearest water. Awesome thing about these fish is you catch them in pretty shallow water and they're super hardy so they do release pretty well. We didn't have any issues with any of them. Um, this next clip here you can see Jacko, this is just after lunch, he uh, he hooks his first fish and lands it and there's a little bit of horrible footage coming up but you just have to hear the audio how pumped he was. It's so good to travel halfway around the world with your best mate and uh, watch this sort of stuff go down It's it's pretty special.
on. Oh. And this is how you cook it and miss two fish in two casts. Originally I thought it was the same fish that came back again, but we realized it was two different yeah. fish and this pretty much sums up the end of the trip for me. Spent three days casting my arms off and had seven or eight bites and didn't land one of them. So, uh, not the best way to end a trip, but it was pretty cool to see nonetheless. And that's another lure that worked really well for me was uh, the FCL JDP. Had quite a few bites on it, I should say, and uh, didn't land any fish on it, but they obviously loved it. it um, Another lure from FCL, Mr. Surasaki, that is super easy to use, but super effective. Absolutely love them. So I can't really explain how I lost or missed either of these oh, fish. You can see in the slow-mo, they fully eat it. It goes in their mouth, they turn side on, and just somehow manage to spit it. All right, guys, so that was part one of Cubera Snapper in Costa Rica. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was an epic time for us. Um, I just wanted to go through some of the gear we were using. Um, first, I want to give a little shout out to a fellow named Daniel Mann. I've never met him before, but I've recently started spearfishing as well, and I've been watching his YouTube channel, and it is amazing. Um, and it's kind of what I want my channel to be like as well. He's super helpful. Um, you know, he's got some epic footage, but he's also very helpful in teaching people about gear. And that's something that I really want to do as well. I want to teach people about the gear that I use, why I fish, where I fish, um, how I fish those areas, and also a lot of rigging as well. So knots and, uh, and gear I use, lures, and even some fly fishing stuff as well in the future. Um, it's something that I'm pretty passionate about and I've really started to get into recently as well. So a big thing for me is trying to help you guys out with your fishing. I've been guiding now for about seven or eight years. So I hope that I've learned a few things that I can pass on to you and you might be able to use it to improve your fishing as well. But uh, anyway, so this is the gear that we used for the trip. It's just a basic rundown, but uh, fish and stick baits casting the whole time. I fished this Zanac uh, TC 80G. It's a beautiful rod to fish with all day. Uh, so I paired it with a Catalina 4000 and was fishing P4 J braid and 120 pound leader. So Jackson was fishing a slightly different outfit. His was a bit heavier, a bit stiffer rod, a FCL ADL, another awesome rod. Um, he probably converted a few more fish than I did, and I think it was partially due to the fact that this Zanac is a pretty soft rod, so it's beautiful for working stick baits, but uh, I think I missed a few fish on the hook set, partially because the rod loads up so slowly that you just can't get enough pressure on the hooks to set the fish. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, we are fishing stick baits pretty much the whole time. We did, did throw some poppers with no love, so Pretty confident with the stick baits, ended up sticking with them. This is a lure that I caught my fish on. You can see it's pretty beat up now, but this is an FCL TBO. So this was actually a prototype, but they're in production now and just a beautiful, beautiful lure to use. Super easy to work uh, and works pretty good in the chop too. And the fish absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the gear. The boat we fished out of was pretty old school. So it's just a long boat. You see them a lot overseas, Thailand, Bali, South America. Um, they're pretty worldwide, but it's a uh, pretty basic setup. So we didn't have a depth sounder. The guide had a handheld GPS. He knew where all the spots were, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult to be confident when you can't see fish on the sounder, but he knew what he was doing. He put us in the right spot and we caught fish. Um, and yeah, I plan on going back next year. February 2021. Um, if it's something you might be interested in, let me know. Send me a message. I'm trying to get a crew together of guys that want to go and cast stick baits and poppers and catch cubaras specifically. Um, but that's about it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we had an epic time, so yeah, thank you.